Proverbs chapter 15, verse 10, and it reads, Correction is grievous unto him that forsaketh the way, and he that hateth reproof shall die. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, next double honors, to the head apostles slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible, peace, blessings, and safety. To all you sincere items, keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith, regardless of people here for a bear. The Lord getting straight to it. The Lord is all about black and white. No gray, ain't no gray area in this scripture right here. There's no gray area in the scriptures. It's black and white. You hate to be corrected. You will D-I-E. I'm coming straight out the Bible. That, that's what it is. But when we bring out this word, the average Negro, Latino, and Native Americans, they, they get grieved with it. They get grieved when someone corrects them. A bunch of GMO babies. That's all you see. A bunch of GMO babies. This this that last generation right here before the Lord come you you can you know it you know it man look at these ninjas man you think the Lord gonna continue to put up with this nonsense this re rebellious a holes man you see the Israelite men and women have lost their last bit of their mind it's like I, you, you can't correct it look and the whole system is set up like that anyway. Sleazy system is set up to not correct anybody. It's, it's, it's founded upon witchcraft, thievery, crime, lies, hypocrisy. And let me get, and let me get some. Let me get some right. Just something quick. About to head out, get this daily bread. Just want to get something in, getting a late start. But it's um, but what it say? Better um, later than never, right? Let's just get this. I want to get this. Sirach, what is it, Sirach? Because I made a statement, I want to back it up with the scripture. Sirach chapter 10. Let's get this. Sirach chapter 10. Sirach chapter 10, verse 2, and it reads, As the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers. And what manner of man the ruler of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein. So if your leader is a crook, if your leader is a liar, if your leader is a rebel, if your leader is a demon, if your leader can't take correction, what type of people do you think is going to be up under him? What type of people do you think is going to be up under that leader? The people are going to be just like the leader. I'm reading it right here. So Rock chapter 10, also known as Ecclesiastes, chapter 10, verse 2. But what I just read in Proverbs, Proverbs 15 and 10. Those that hate reproof, you hate for someone to correct you. And we correct you with the words of the Bible, just like we're being corrected by the words of the Bible, right? The book for the Hebrew Israelites, right? A book full of laws, statutes, and commandments. You see, perfect laws. The Bible got perfect laws in it of, of how to govern a people, how to govern the earth. But the majority of the Israelites, they're not going to take heed to what the Bible is saying, spoken by men, inspired by the God of the Bible, inspired by Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. They're not going to listen. But those that hate to be corrected, you, you saw, and I'm going to go back to that, Lord willing. But I just want to hit this point. You got, you got wicked rulers ruling the earth. And our people are hook, line, and sinker for it, right? Vote for people that ain't never passed a law that was good for them. <laughs> Vote for people, because uh, like the scriptures say, they trust in oppression. Just, just look at the average Negro, Latino, and Native American. They gone, they through. <clears throat> Lost in the sauce, drunk off that Babylon juice. But the Lord got that, that act right, though. We we'll just call that fire. Let's get this again. So Rock chapter 10, verse 2. And it reads, As the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers. And what manner of man the ruler of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein. So once again, if your ruler is a crook, if your ruler, the person that's ruling over you is a swindler, you see, is a liar, Habitual liar at that. A deleter, 
If your ruler do, doesn't do anything but go around deleting people, how you think the people that's up on him going to act? Everybody, your leader is covetous. Your leader is a, is a despiser of those that are good. Anybody that's doing the right thing, your leader despises that. But, but they applaud you and they reward you when it comes to doing something wicked, when it comes to doing something evil. And now people have failed for that nonsense. But the Lord got these judgments. These judgments are going to get you right. These judgments are going to get you right, man. You see? So let's go back. Something quick about the head out. The scripture right here speaks volume. Are, 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 do I need to blow it up some? Do I need to blow it up some? Proverbs chapter 15 verse 10. Correction is grievous unto him or her that forsaken the way. So the, the majority of our people, they, they ain't trying to go down that, that straight and narrow, man. They're not trying to walk down that right path, the good way. Hell, they told Jeremiah they ain't trying to hurt. They ain't trying to walk down the, down the right path, pretty much. The good way. They said, we ain't walking down that path. We don't, we don't want to follow out the righteousness. We want to follow out the wickedness. That's what the majority of our people are saying. And do they have to literally say it? No, their actions. Actions speak louder than words. Your actions show the Lord what you down with. That's all. Our actions show the Lord what path we going down, right? Your actions, man. Actions speak louder than words. The Lord said, look, look, you hate to be reproved and he or she. It goes for the Israelite man and woman. Because that's who this word is for. This word is not for every nation up under the heavens, man. It's for you. And the people that the word is for, they hate it the most. It grieves them the most. And then even, even the Lord said unto Ezekiel, you know what I'm saying? If he would have sent him to any other nation, they would have hearkened to the word. If you would have told them, you know what I'm saying, that they're the greatest people on the face of the earth. And the only thing they got to do is do the right thing. And they'll be saved and they'll be delivered and they'll be put on top of every nation. They'll flourish. Nothing but sunny days, um, blue skies, smiles and hugs and kisses. If the Lord would have sent the prophets to these heathen nations and told them to turn back to the God of the Bible and they would receive all things and they would be delivered from their enemies, the scriptures say they would do it. But the Lord is telling the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American, is turn back, I got your back. Turn back, I will protect you. Turn back, I will save you. Turn back, I will feed you. Turn back, I will comfort you. And our people say, no, nah, we good. Turn back, and I will save you from your enemies. No, nah, we good. Proverbs 15 and 10. Correction is grievous unto him or her that forsake of the way. And he or she that hateth reproof, Meaning you hate to be corrected, and that's the majority of our people. Even Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, they know who they are according to the Bible. They know that they're, they're the biblical Hebrew Israelites. They don't even want to be corrected. They hate to be corrected. They hate reproof shall die. That's plain. You ain't getting, you ain't getting around that scripture right there. That scripture plain. That scripture plain is on no way, but let's get this though. Something quick about to head out the door, Lord willing, get this daily bread. And, and we're one day closer to it all being over with, too. Almost over, almost over, man, to it being all, come on, man, this place right here is almost done. Jeremiah chapter 4, you don't see wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth. Wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth. And these people love it, though, man. Look how they conducted themselves each and every day. Everybody running their damn mouth. People that, people that don't need to be speaking is the main ones running their mouth. Everybody got something to say. Everybody got a platform. Everybody got a YouTube page. <laughs> it's, saying, it's saying nothing. All these different platforms of people saying nothing, nothing. Ain't nobody pushing the fear of Yahweh Baha The only thing these people pushing is rebelliousness. Which is going to say rebellion is as a sin of witchcraft. So that's what the, that's what the majority of the Israelites are pushing. Witchcraft, rebelliousness. You see, Be, being a rebel. 
Especially you damn GMO babies. You shit staying in the drawers having ass ninjas. You see? And the Lord said, all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. Eventually, it's going to catch up to you. Don't worry. Eventually, what you're asking for will eventually catch up to you. Like the scripture say, um, that mouth can either lead to you living or lead to you being put to flight. That tongue, man. You see? That tongue will, can, will eventually get you delivered or get you put to the ground. You see? Jeremiah 4 and 22. For my people is foolish. My people, the Negroes, Latins, the Native Americans, the Israelites. For my people is foolish. A bunch of blockheads, meatballs, jackasses. They have not known me, but the main ones hooping and hollering. That's why the Lord said they honor me with their lips. They are sodish, retarded, stupid. They are sodish children. They have none understanding, but they walk around like they're the smartest, though, right? Because they got a little college degree. You see, you got a couple of accolades, maybe got a little bit of uh, money. You see, made some investments. That don't make you smart. Just scriptures tell us the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. That's what makes you smart. Fearing the Lord. That's what makes you have understanding. That's what makes you have wisdom. Fearing the Lord. Fearing Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call God and Jesus, the names that everyone's going to bow to eventually, right? They are sodish children. They have none understanding. They are wise to do evil. See that? So they're the, the most definitely the majority of our people don't want to be corrected because they're wise to do evil. They'll plot on you. They'll, they'll rob you. They'll scheme on your woman. They're wise when it comes to doing evil. Selling drugs, game banging. They, they was bad in school. When it, came to, when it came to math in school, they failed. But when it comes to using that math, you know what I'm saying, um, being a drug dealer and, and coming up with a scheme, they're the best at it, right? They are wise to do evil, but to do good, but to do the right thing, they have no knowledge. That's why the Lord says he's going to destroy them, pursuant to um, Proverbs 15 and 10. That, that's why it's time to seek the Lord, because the Lord about to open up a can of whoop ass on these ninjas, man. Real, real talk. Whether you know you're a Hebrew Israelite or whether you don't it, don't, it don't even matter. The Lord's about to open up a can of whoop ass on you ninjas, man. And this devil can't save you. You think Sleazy E can save you from the God of the Bible? Are you serious? Second Chronicles chapter 15, verse 12, and it reads, And, and they enter into a covenant, a, a, an agreement, an agreement. The Israelites made a covenant, an agreement with the God of the Bible, right? To seek the Lord their power, the power of their fathers, with all their heart, meaning all their mind and with all their soul. That whosoever would not seek the Lord power of Israel should be put to death. Are we not seeing this? I mean, you're not seeing the same thing I'm saying? I mean, you're not seeing the same thing thing that I'm saying, that whosoever, that whosoever represents us, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, that whosoever represents us, that whosoever will not seek the Lord power of Israel, Yahweh, who the eagerly call God, <clears throat> he is, he exists, Bahashem in the name, Yahweh Shai, who the eagerly call Jesus, he saves, he delivers, right? If you're not seeking them, right? The power of Israel should be put to death. See, like the Lord had me mention at the beginning of this video, the Lord is black and white. Ain't no gray areas in this scripture. It ain't no, oh, I thought it meant this and I thought it meant that. No, it means what it means. It, it says what it means, all right? Because Israel good for that. I, I didn't think it meant that. I thought, I thought it meant this. When the Lord said, look, look, it ain't about what you think. Do you, do you see what I'm saying? I got it written right here. Trust in the Lord with all your mind and lean not into thy own understanding. That's what's going to take the majority of you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans off this blessed earth. You, you, you're trying to think for the Lord. No, we, we can't think for the Lord. You see? No, what, what would it say? Whether small or great, whether man or woman. Because sometimes the scriptures say um, man, man, but then it don't say woman. Well, well, it applies to the man as well as the woman. The Israelites that are not seeking the God of the Bible, whether you're known in society, 
or uh, whether you're down at the bottom of the totem pole, whether you're a man or a woman, you will eventually be put to flight. Eventually. eventually. And, and then the thing about the crazy thing about it, you don't see how bad it's getting. You Israelites, you Nicholas, Latinos, Native Americans, you know, and you ain't got no hope over here either. Now, hell, no matter where you at, you ain't got no hope. Your only hope is in the Lord. Your only hope is in these words. Matter of fact, let's see, before I even get that, let's just get this. Every time we say something, we, we most definitely bring out a scripture. Every time we say something, we most definitely bring out a scripture. What is it, Psalms? I think it's Psalms, right? Psalms, bear with me. Let me think. Psalms 124, I'm thinking. Let's see. Psalms 130. Psalms chapter 130. Let's see. Right here. Psalms chapter 130, verse 5, and it reads, I wait for the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. My soul do of wait. And in his word do I hope. In his word, the word is real. In his word do I hope. We're constantly praying that these words come to pass. This is our only hope. That everything that's written of in the scriptures comes to pass. That's our only hope. Can't wait. We're going to hope in Babylon. You're going you're gonna to hope, you're hoping in your enemy to save you and deliver you when Lamentation, the fourth chapter, verse 17, condemns all that. It cuts all that. <clears throat> as a matter of fact, <clears throat> I might as well get that right quick in Salakia. Yeah. Let's get this. Our people, they're not putting their trust and their hope and their faith in the words of the Lord. No, they're putting their hope and their trust and their faith in the government, in the heathen, in lies. The scriptures say that. The scriptures say they have made lies their refuge. You see? They, they have made lies their refuge. That's sad right there. You see? They run to lies for a safe haven. They run to lies for protection. Lamentations chapter 4, verse 17. I don't know, I'm going to keep blowing it up. I didn't see it, brother. I didn't see it, brother. Lamentations chapter 4, verse 17. It reads, as for us. The Hebrew Israelites, the biblical Hebrew Israelites, according to the Bible. And everybody knows who we are, man. All right? Stop, stop with the games. Everybody knows who we are, all right? Whether they want to admit it or not. As for us, the Hebrew Israelites, Negroes, Latins, and Native American Indians, so-called, our eyes as yet fail for our vain help, depending on these heathens to make life better for us. Depending on these heathens to create better foods for us. Depending on these heathens to help us raise our offsprings. You see? Depending on these heathens to put our women in check. That ain't going to happen. They pass laws for our women to rebel. They pass laws, you know what I'm saying? They set up a whole system to why women can say they don't need a man. And, and all you Israelite women that fell for that nonsense, you're through too. You already through already. You through already. You see? For any so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, any woman to fall for that nonsense that you don't need a man, you, you already then lost the battle already. As for us, our eyes as yet fell for our vain help. That's why the scripture says, woe to him that trusteth in man. And our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. What part, I mean, are you not reading the same thing that I'm reading? I mean, are you not reading the same thing that I'm reading? The scriptures say our people are trusting in a nation, nations, starting off with sleazy. They're trusting in nations that won't set up to save us. Out there killing yourself, voting, standing out there for hours. When your vote don't count, those people are already pre-selected already. Your president, your governor, your mayors, all that, they pre-selected already, man. And you just like so damn stupid, you don't even realize that yet. You see? But then you look at us all crazy. You look at us like we don't know what we're talking about, but you got it. Don't even worry about it. Let's go back. Let's go right on back. 
Psalms 135. I wait for the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, who you're going to call God and Jesus. And you got you got other Israelite groups um, making mockery at Great Millstone for saying, yeah, they're waiting on the Lord. Y'all waiting on that mystery, God. Y'all just going to wait, right? Y'all just going to wait. We're going to work while we wait. We're going to push these videos while we wait. Yeah, man. The scriptures say, look, bless are those that wait on the Lord. You see? I wait for the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. My soul do of wait. And in his word do I hope. In the words of the Lord do we hope. You see? What's that scripture? He will bless those that wait on him. Let's see if I can find that right quick. Let's see if I can find that right quick. It's a blessing to wait on the Lord, man. Let's see. What is that? And I will bless them. Let's see. I'm, I'm pressed for time, but, but it's a scripture that basically said, you know I'm saying? He will bless those that wait on him. Oh, his shit. He's a good one right here. Psalms 145 and 15. The eyes of all wait upon thee, and thou givest them their meat in due season. Right? It's, a, it's another one that I wanted. Brothers that watch the video, no sake can put it up because I'm pressed for time. I got to get ready to roll. Pretty much, no saying the scriptures are going to um, the Lord will bless them that wait for him. Let's see. Let's see. Here's one right here, Psalms 26. 14, wait on the Lord. You got Israelite groups, you no know, say came with us, came a great millstone for saying we waiting on the Lord. Wait on the Lord, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart, your mind. Wait, I say, wait, I say, wait, I say on the Lord. You see? The scriptures tell us to wait on the Lord and hope in his word. Let's go back. Let's go right on back. Bear with me. Sirach chapter 40. Because remember, the first script, we're going, we're going full circle. Remember, the first scripture that I brought out was, was what? Proverbs 15 and 10. Correction is grievous to him and her that forsake of the way the Israelites, right? And he or she that hated for proof, you hate to be corrected, shall die. That's what the scripture said, right? Sirach, and these are some of the ways too. Sirach chapter 40, verse 8, and it reads, Such things happen unto all flesh, both man and beast. And that is sevenfold more upon sinners, a complete number of things, right? It's going to happen to the wicked of our people, right? Death and bloodshed, being hacked to pieces. Straight up deleted, being hacked to pieces, because that's what bloodshed goes into, you being hacked to pieces, right? Strife, you're going to be getting caught up, and every time you turn around, you're going to be getting your head rocked off. Every time you turn around, you're going to be getting your head rocked off. You're going to be getting caught up in all kind of madness every time you turn around, right? Because you don't want to turn back, right? And sword, you see? Calamities, famine, tribulation, and the scourge. All them different judgments going to come upon you. You're going to be catching per hell, right? Scourge represents the whippings, right? These things are created for the wicked and for their sakes came to flood. So the Israelites that don't want to repent, that don't want to be corrected. Because remember, they even told Jeremiah, and they always come back saying that nonsense, man, the Israelites, man, the wicked of our people. I ain't trying to hear that nonsense. They call the words of the Bible nonsense. Because they want to continue on eating their pork. Men want to continue on committing adultery. Same thing with women. They, they want to live a rebellious life, and it ends to you being deleted. I read 2 Chronicles chapter 15, verse 13. Yeah, go, go back and read it. He that hated, oh yeah, poverty and shame shall be to the, and I, and I ended off with that. I ended off with that. Just something quick, about to head out, get this daily bread, you see? Seek the Lord, return. Seek the Lord. Proverbs chapter 13, verse 18, poverty and shame. 
Poverty and shame. Poverty and shame shall be to him or her that refuses instructions. You you hate to take heed to this warning. You don't want to take heed to the warning. You don't want to take heed to the instructions. Poverty and shame. But he or she that regard of reproof, you can take correction. You can be corrected. Shall be honored. And there's a whole lot of Israelites out there that just can't be corrected. No matter what, they they will not be corrected. Eventually, poverty and shame. And eventually, you will be deleted. At least you repent. Shalom.